Hey, this is Leo, and these are all the new features in Ableset version 2.3. The first new feature is support for clip colors. Let's say you have a sections track with all of your section clips on it, and you've already assigned some nice colors to your clips. In previous versions of Ableset, if you wanted those colors to appear in your set list as well, then you would have to add them as color attributes to the clip name. So for example, orange here, and so on. This is now a lot simpler. You can just go ahead and rename your track and add plus clip colors, or if you want to make it short, plus CC. And now all of the clip colors are automatically applied to the set list as well. The same thing also works with lyrics. I've already added the plus CC flag here. Now I can just go ahead and, for example, mark these four lines and make them green. Each column of colors here in live represents one color in Ableset. So, for example, it wouldn't make a difference whether I choose this green or this green here on the bottom or maybe this green on the top. The line always uses the same green. Speaking of lyrics, you can now also decide whether lyrics clips that cross a section are placed before the section header or afterwards. By default, if more than half of a clip lies before a section marker, then Ableset will display the lyrics line before the section header. And if more than half of the clip lies after the section marker, the line is displayed after the section header. But now you can decide this for yourself. So for example, if I wanted this line to appear after the verse header, I could just add this. So square bracket open, a greater than sign and a square bracket closed. And that moves the line after the section header. The same would also work in the other direction. I would just have to use a smaller than sign instead of a greater than sign. And also speaking of lyrics, you can now use your number keys from 1 to 9 to switch between multiple lyrics tracks. So I'm currently on lyrics track 1, but I could also press 2 to switch to my second lyrics track, 3 for my third, and so on. Next, Ableset now lets you decide whether playback should stop at a song end marker or whether it should continue to the next song. So for example, I have a song here, end of the year, which ends in a song end marker. And by default, of course, playback just continues to the next song. But if you enter the setlist edit mode, you now have a toggle to decide whether playback should stop at the end of a song or whether it should just jump to the next song and continue playing. So for example, if I wanted playback to stop after end of the year, then I would just click the stop toggle and playback would now stop at the end of the song. If a song ends with a stop marker, you see that this stop toggle is always grayed out and it tells you that this song ends with the stop marker, so playback will always stop there. Next, we have a new addition to the save mode feature. So if you go into the settings menu and enable save mode here, let's start playback now. If you wanted to stop playback, you can't just press the pause button anymore. It will ask you to press this button again now to confirm this. So let's do that. Click it one and then click it again. And now playback stops. This prevents you from accidentally stopping playback in the middle of a song. The next improvements have to do with the way that durations are calculated. So one thing you might notice when you open a song is that now, instead of just displaying the durations of songs, Ableset also displays the duration of all sections. These durations now immediately update when you move a marker around. So for example, if I were to move the stop marker of this song, you'll see the duration update immediately. In addition to that, Ableset can now also calculate the durations of songs that have tempo automation. So if I were to add a tempo automation here, maybe let's just make it a bit slower here, and then save the project file, you'll see that the song duration and the duration of the sections have updated immediately. This feature also works with multi-file projects as well. So if I go into settings, choose a multi-file project folder, you'll see that none of my songs have any duration attributes in the file name. And still, Ableset correctly calculates the duration of each song. If you're using multi-file projects, you can now also directly see and jump to sections of songs that aren't currently open. So if I wanted to jump to verse 2 of end of the year, I could just click here and Ableton would immediately jump to it. Let's do the same thing for Follow Night. Let's jump to the pre-chorus here. And there we go. Ableset 2.3 also adds support for section clips and lyrics tracks in Ableton Live 10. The only caveat with this is that in order for changes to reflect, you have to save the project file. So for example, let's uh, open this up here. Let's say I wanted to change the title here. If I save the project file, those changes will be reflected here. The same goes with lyrics. So uh, let's go ahead and change the line here, remove a word. If I save that, 
those changes are reflected in the lyrics now. Now, for a few smaller improvements, Ableset now runs on port 80. And what that means is that instead of having to type your host address or the IP address and then colon 3000, you can now just leave that out. So if I wanted to open Ableset on my tablet, for example, I could just go to playback.local or to my IP address. You can now also choose which network interface Ableset should run on. So if I were to go to settings and then to preferred network, I can now choose the preferred network interface for Ableset. In my case, I only have one network interface here, which is my Wi-Fi. But if I had, for example, an Ethernet connection, I could choose that one here and Ableset would use that for all of its network activity. And last, instead of just an escape loop button, the Ableset controller now also has a enable loop button. So you can now toggle the loop on and off using a MIDI controller of your choice. And that's it. Ableset 2.3 comes with a bunch of other improvements that I haven't talked about in this video. So if you want to see all changes, feel free to check out the link in the video description. Let me know if you have any questions or feedback and I wish you a great day.